On Thursday in Accra, the Ghana Journalists Association officially marked 100 days in office. The Accra Press Center program, which is branded 100 Days Under the Legacy Regime, catalogued over 20 achievements talked out by the new administration. The new GJA leadership is optimistic and determined that the difficult situation of journalists shall no longer be a problem to deal with. When the new GJA executive mounted the saddle on June 30, 2022, leadership led by Mr. Albert Dumfort introduced some initiatives to improve the well-being of journalists. On the to-do list included the Journalist Welfare Support Fund to be launched on November 2, 2022, GJA Retiree Fund, reviewing of the award scheme, which is now digitalized, and a fact-finding approach to resolving sensitive issues, which saw the cases of Radio Ada and Oyeropa FM resolved amicably. The GJA also engaged stakeholders in some educational institutions, corporate bodies, diplomatic community, all with the aim of securing scholarships and training packages to build the capacity of journalists. Other achievements include improved social media visibility and engagement of past GJA president and retirees, among others. Despite a few challenges, these other days have been very fruitful and encouraging for us. We want to assure you the rest of our tenor will build many more accomplishments. I will want to use this opportunity to thank the past executives, some senior journalists, veterans, and my able executives. A redeemed pledge by the legacy regime team was to give a facelift to the GJA's headquarters. It has refurbished the press center with ultra modern furniture, tiled the floor, and added office equipment, and also carpeted the floor. The team plans to add on a multi-purpose structure to generate revenue for the association. The 26th GJA Media Awards comes off on 12 November 2022 at the Kempinski Gold Coast City Hotel and has the theme, Walking the Path Towards Ghana's Economic Recovery, the Role of the Media. In Accra